I went to Kambani, I, as I, where I come from Kambani, I realized that we are lacking behind because we have always chosen to be in the opposition. And then our youths, it started when they were 14 years, 15 years, some have reached 40, they are nowhere. When I go there and I see them, they are jobless. But I'm telling all oh, people from the Lower Eastern, Makweni, Machakos and uh, Kitui, if we support the government of today, we support Uru Kenyatta. We will have a bargaining power so that we can now tell him, now President, we have given you our vote. Can you employ our youth, our sons and daughters? If we stand with the government, we can start now finding ways of creating employment for our youth. They come to my office to be employed, others want to be watchmen, others they want to be to do casual work in the Mujengo. And this is a person who has a degree. It hurts me. We need to take care of our youth. Our youth are our tomorrow, they, they are the one for tomorrow, tomorrow nation. I'm talking of changing our mindset in Okambani and we become entrepreneurs. And that's why I'm pleading that we stand with the government of the day of Uru so that we can be sponsored so that our youth can do even business. We know job creation is not easy, but if they can be sponsored to do business, we, I would like to see banks which are owned by people in Okambani. I want to see private universities and universities in every county in Okambani. And that way we are going to take, to generate resources for our people. It has put us in second class, like second class citizen, because we, you know, even if you, if you are fighting me, why should I help you? If you are throwing stone to me, why should I bother about you? I, you become an enemy. But even if, even then, I'll put in number two or number last. When I, the priorities are being set, we will, we, will not be, we will not be put first priority. So I feel we, it's a high time we wake up. The time has come that we have to make the right decision. We are not fighting anybody. I love all the politicians. I'm not a politician. But in Okambani, we have no presidential candidates. That's why I'm pleading that we support at least President Uhuru because he's a presidential candidate. The one we thought we could support our brother, Honorable Kalonzo, is number two. So we are not fighting him. We love him, he has done a lot. And he also needs support. He needs support. When it, his time comes and says, I want to be a president, we'll stand lulling behind him. I want us to see what the government of Kenya under, the, under President Uru Kenyatta and his deputy, William Ruto, what they have tried to do despite of the chaos which have been up and down, criticism, criticism, and we know there is no body who is 100%, but we can say they have done something. We can see the railway has come, we have seen the women who are delivering without even paying maternity fee. Our time we used to pay a lot of money, so you had some time to condom many children and give birth to, because you have to plan, but now it's free. And now we are going to get free primary education. Of course, they might not have done 100%, but then they have done something. And that's why I'm pleading with any canon of goodwill. We, as we preach good governance and a good, good uh, and peaceful elections, I'm also requesting that we give them another five, five year term so that they can also, we can give them a chance to accomplish a few things and even adopt and do much more. As a business lady, I know the pros and cons of a government which is a, at unrest. And that's why today I want to tell, call upon all canons of goodwill to speak and preach peaceful campaign without hatred. Remembering that we all have got only Kenya as our nation. Kenya is our mother, and Kenya, we have no substitute for Kenya. As such, I'm calling all Kenyans of goodwill so that we can be able to continue with our business. Because when there is chaos, we know business cannot continue and it will affect. And more so when we think of 207, 208, the way our brothers and sisters became deep IDPs in their own 
refugees in their own country. It was very painful. And we know some as up to now they have not settled, although our government is trying to settle them.